Hi, everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. Today is your fabulous Friday. Congratulations. Fabulous. You made it through the work week. Friday. <laughs> All this week, we've been talking about funny things in history. If you missed any of the previous episodes, please go back and check those out. And as always, thanks so much for joining us. So here it is. It's Friday. <laughs> Funky Friday. Yes. Because <laughs> some of these stories are funky. Started off with this one. Excuse me. A French farmer tried to sue some rats. <laughs> sue? Sue. Mm-hmm. As in like, like actual rats. <laughs> like serve a warrant, take him to court? <laughs> yeah, and it was for eating his barley. Oh, wow. Yeah. Why not uh, just kill him? <laughs> won the case and they were acquitted oh wow (laughs) Wow. this really happened i mean like for real really really happened stupid moments in court history the rats won (laughs) apparently animal trials were the fat uh something of a fad in the middle ages (laughs) so we're going in the way 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 back machine (laughs) Holy freaking moly, huh? <laughs> Often the animal would be put on trial, immediately found guilty, and then sentenced to either death or excommunication for their crimes. <laughs> you can't make this up. This has to just be for fun. This just has to be a bunch of bored people wanting to practice law. <laughs> Excommunicated? You are no longer a member of the rat family. Well, what am I now? You are an it. That's it. <laughs> Get it out of here. (laughs) The question was, maybe it was to reinforce the authority of the church and the laws to the locals. Maybe it was just entertainment. (laughs) Or maybe they really wanted to execute justice on animals. We'll never know. (laughs) That's just stupid on a whole new level. (laughs) They say that the story may have been exaggerated, but it went something like this. (laughs) <laughs> the rats were eating the farmer's barley, so they decided to sue the rats. <laughs> and one of these an- they had animal courts. <laughs> animal courts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they, <they're... laughs> they can't make this up. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> The rats were assigned a lawyer. Oh, hey. <laughs> I can't even begin to pronounce this this guy's name, so I'm not going to. And the trial began. <laughs> of course, the rats didn't show up for their court date. Wow. <laughs> Did you give him a subpoena? <laughs> Are you a rat? Yeah, here, you've been served. (laughs) Oh, that's a bunch of crap. They just walked up and handed me a form. Ah, come on. (laughs) Because they were rats and presumably did not understand time or calendars or the legal system for that matter. (laughs) Oh, my heavens. (laughs) The level of stupidity here is like so far <laughs> off the chops, it's comical. So the lawyer for the rats argued that they all lived in different places. So their summons <laughs> might not have reached them. Oh, wow. They actually summoned the rats. <laughs> wow. The judge agreed. <laughs> And the trial was rescheduled. Oh, boy. <laughs> Naturally, hoping, all the rats... Hoping, <laughs> hoping they, that... could sh- they would show... Oh, yeah. Okay, no. Naturally, know. the rats failed to show up for their second court date as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lawyer remember. then decided to argue that it was daytime. <clears throat> Cats were out and about, and the rats would be unable to move about freely. <laughs> Yeah, they have to be. Uh, <laughs> Okie doke. While well, the mortal enemy was prowling around looking for them, <laughs> the law excused the defendants from appearing in court 
if their lives were in danger, so the rats were acquitted. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, what a special, what a special moment in history, huh? Wow. What the? <laughs> Stupidity at its finest. And these are the same people. These are the same people that held the Salem. <laughs> I'm gonna go with boredom. Yeah, <laughs> I really am. I'm gonna Is go she a with witch? I don't know. Throw her in the water. Did she float? Yeah, she floated. She's a witch. Don't all people float? <laughs> don't, don't, don't all. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's a that's a test. Uh, my favorite test for the witch was they light her on fire. Did she save herself? No. Okay, we might have got it wrong. You're like, wait a minute. What's she wow. supposed to do? She's supposed to go. <laughs> Put out the fire and then go, ah, ha, ha, ha. me, I'd be like, do you really think she's a witch? Yeah. Do you think it's a good idea to light her on fire? Oh, wow. Do you want to upset a woman who has supernatural? I always thought that was wild. Why do you want to upset a woman who has supernatural powers? She can yeah. turn you into a monkey, but yet you can put handcuffs on her? <laughs> really? I'll just light her on fire. Don't you think she can get out of that if she's a witch? Yeah, yeah. One would think so. Yeah, I, uh, I'll throw her in the water and see if she floats. It's like <laughs> she floated. She must be a witch. Don't you float? How about I throw you in the water? Let's see if you float. Oh boy! And on that note, we need to take a recess. Back in a moment. Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to A Quickie with Miss B. And if you want to know about our court system from way in the way back day, go back and check out the first half of this episode because you ain't going to believe it. Yeah, <laughs> Just it, saying. <laughs> it, it'll lose you like it lost me. <laughs> so this one I thought was interesting because this one has to do with one of our presidents, former president. This was former president Jimmy Carter. Now, he went and visited Poland Back in 1977, and he took an interpreter with him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let me guess. He took someone who spoke Spanish? <laughs> so he's taken this interpreter with him multiple times. Um, <laughs> such, you know, as his speech that he made, to, you know, <laughs> that he made <laughs> this particular time while in Poland. <laughs> What was the interpreter mistranslated mistransl- mistranslated yep. <laughs> him multiple times. And I guess the gist was that the people listening to the interpreter speaking yeah. Polish <laughs> said, made it sound like Mr. Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Left the United States permanently. Uh oh. He was never going back. <laughs> and he wanted to give Poland a hand job. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> He's going to be busy. There's a lot of people in Poland. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Can you... Can you... <laughs> That's a whole new mean to take a number, huh? <laughs> wow. Apparently, in a speech, he said that he wanted to know more about the Polish people's desire for the future. <clears throat> Somehow his interpreter translated it as Carter desired Poland sexually. Oh, man. Later on, the interpreter also delivered another mistranslation, such as I left the United States never to return. <laughs> <laughs> and Carter was happy to grasp <laughs> at Poland's private purse. Now it makes you wonder, did the interpreter do that on <laughs> did, didn't Obama didn't Obama have a uh, a, a sign language person that was doing it all wrong? I thought he had somebody who was doing it all oh, wrong. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, that wasn't the worst of it, but certainly it wasn't the end of it either. <laughs> 
Carter ended up getting a new translator, and thank goodness for that. Okay, so <laughs> they're at a state banquet later on in the visit. But Carter decided to give a toast. His interpreter refused to translate anything Carter was saying. It turned out that the interpreter could understand Carter's English and therefore just stayed silent. So basically, Carter's visit to Poland started <laughs> with saying he came to get kinky <laughs> and he was never going home. <laughs> And it ended up with him trying to give a toast, but only to be met by crickets. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine? You're thinking, okay, I got a different translator. I'm going to redeem myself. He's going to, you know, I'm going to say something to, you know, I couldn't understand make that up sub- for all that. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't understand, understand that southern <laughs> accent. He's like, I all day and day. They're like, what did he say? I all day and day. What? <laughs> I'm not translating that. What does that mean? <laughs> I, uh, da, da, da. How do I do that in Polish? We don't go. I, uh, da, da, da. <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> Can you imagine that translator? I, uh, da, da, da. Yo! <laughs> I left my country. I'm never coming back. Anyone for sex? <laughs> Adios, Polly Boo, a humma humma. <laughs> I translated into Spanish and French. <laughs> Make sure you get all the bases covered. Yeah. Well, we're in Poland. All right. Oh. Uh, these two Polish people go into a bar. Polly Boo, a humma humma. There we go. Three. I like that. Oh, scandalous. That's yeah. <laughs> all I can see is scandalous. <laughs> the, the sign language people are the ones that always get me. Oh, you'll see someone yeah. walk up, like Obama, go, how are you doing today? They're going. <laughs> and they're signing, how are you doing today? <laughs> you're like, does it take that long to sign how are you today? She's saying, what is she saying? You know, you're like, she's, he's not talking. She's still signing. You're going, <laughs> Wait a minute. Something, something's not right here. That, that cannot be how are you doing today. <laughs> There's got to be more to it. Well, yeah, she's been signing for three minutes now. You're like, <laughs> doesn't it like usually la 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 la? Like, yeah. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'll tell you. Hold on. That, 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 that can't be. Uh-huh. No. Oh my goodness. Well, anyways, that's it for today, boys and girls. I hope you had a really good laugh on that one. (laughs) See you next week. Have a good weekend.